Welcome back to CES 2010. We're still with George Mead on the LG stand. Now, George, it wouldn't be CES 2010 if you were not talking about 3D. So tell us about LG's lineup for 3D TV. We have a whole host of 3D technologies, Phil. We're really excited about 3D. It's been born in, in 2010. Uh, we'll have 3D technology on our LCD, plasma and projectors in, in, in 2010. On our LCDs, we have the passive technology. Um, on our plasma technology, we have the active shutter type of technology and obviously the, the 3D projectors that we'll also launch gives us a multi-variety format within the 3D, 3D space. The passive technology on the LCD model that's right behind me at the moment is compatible with the Sky 3D platform of which we're expecting some services from them uh, towards the latter part of 2010. Um, so we're really excited about 3D. It's, you know, the Avatar film in 3D, I think, has created a huge amount of uh, positive buzz around that. And we'll be absolutely committed on giving that within the consumer's homes from the benefit from the sofa. Um, so the passive technology we, we'll be launching in April. It's a 47-inch TV. Um, it will be full HD at 100 hertz, which we believe is minimum requirement because of the, the 3D motion. We don't want any motion blur for that. And we, that will launch it in April. So we're really excited about it. So is it just the one LCD TV that's coming at the moment, and what about plasma? We will launch one LCD with, with 3D in, in April, and then towards the latter part of, of, um, of 2010, in September, October time, we will have a range of LED 3D, uh, which will be a full LED slim version. Uh, we'll also look at our plasma technology for 2011. Uh, we're trying to pu push the, the plasma in, in 3D as well into 2010, but we believe that will be 2011 before the, the plasma 3D does launch. Now, the thing is, you're relying on people buying a new TV for, for this 3D technology, and the first thing they're going to ask you is, well, is there a premium price attached to it? So will they be paying that little bit more for, for the 3D technology? I think that's, uh, you know, that's going to happen. Uh, I mean, the amount of R&D spend that we've actually inputted to create this, this product has been absolutely monumental. It's been over the last three or four years. We've invested a huge amount of money into it. Um, it is an expensive technology, but as, as the market increases, we'll be spreading it across larger screen sizes and smaller screen sizes, putting it on a multi-variety of display technologies, including the LCD, LED, as I referenced earlier, and plasma. And as soon as that happens, the price will be able to come down. And, and, you know, in the next two to three years, we're, we're expecting you know, a lot of homes to be having these 3D TVs in there. And when that 3D t content then comes into it, it can really start to unlock the benefits of a really immersive viewing experience. Uh, I guess, I mean, you've got to give quite a loaded answer to this question, but I've got to ask it, the forum members are going to ask it, but do you actually see a future in this technology? Do you think it's, it, it's, it's going to be a massive technology or do you think it's just going to be a pass and fade? I think it will be a fairly niche um, uh, proposition in, in 2010. I think there'll be some people that just generally but, you know, like the 3D content. They might suffer from, uh, from headaches, etc. I think we've worked really hard on, on how, we, how on our, in terms of our technology to reduce that. But we we need the content. So we're nothing unless you have the, the content with that. And with the, the Sky proposition that will launch a 3D channel in 2010, then once that content gets out to people and when people realise the great immersive viewing experience that 3D does provide, we do believe that that will create a huge positive spin and, and everyone will then like, want to get a piece of the action. Okay, so that's uh, that's one TV beginning of the year, another TV towards the end of the year. That's what's coming from LG, and you're mixing the technologies as well. So, as long as the content's 3D, your TV should be able to display. Absolutely, we'll have something for everyone within the entire range of TVs: 3D, OLED TV, a huge amount of display technologies that we want. We're committed to giving something for everyone. And we want to be open platform. We don't want to go down certain routes that may not be compatible with future services. So it's important for us to work with all the key strategic partners and make sure that we are compatible. So this, the 3D TV that we will launch in April will be compatible with the Sky HD platform, of which the 3D service will be part of the Sky HD platform. Really excited. It's going to be a great year.